Casey. Yes, sir. Let's go. How are we doing? Right. Let's go. All right. Um, I'm, I'm here with Casey Tani, so coach here at Equinox. Yes, sir. And Casey has had an amazing journey, transformation um, in his whole bodybuilding journey. And he came to me a couple weeks ago talking about a pose that he wants to hit. Correct. Right? And a few of them, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry? A few of them, actually. A few of them, yeah. Yeah, right? But show the main pose, the gotcha. main pose that you're looking to do. So the main pose that I'm trying to get into is a reverse bicep pose here. Yep. And what you mentioned to me is just to get the back more towards the stage. Correct. Getting more of that exposure to the opposite side to open up, to just have the appearance of a wider look. Um, because in bodybuilding, a lot of it's just the aesthetics and how you appear. And so to bring that out, obviously I have a limitation of to where I can bring it to. So I came to you obviously looking for advice on how to open up my T-spine and those shoulders so I can get that, that, that look. Yeah. Um, and we can see like close there, right? Um, just, just some finishing touches that we need. Absolutely. Now, we also, then we met up a week after Correct. and we did some stuff on the wall mm -hmm. where it's the good old thoracic stretch that you come around as well as scapular slides, yes. which I think even that we should make a video for. Um, but what we discovered there is, Casey, as far as your extension with your arms, probably at Definitely not at 90 degrees up there. Where were we saying? Like 80 degrees, maybe so 75? Maybe a little bit less than that. That'd right? be generous thing that we're at 70, but I mean, definitely a lot of area for improvement though, for sure. Yeah, so, and when I see that and the move that he's trying to do, the first thing that comes to mind and the moves that we'll do today are shoulder dislocates where we raise lower. We're also gonna have spinal twists. And I think anything where you, thread between your legs you, you'll see in a minute what that means and you're holding on to the stick letting the stick twist you while you reach is your way to go with this um, so the first move okay. that and these are moves that the first three I think are your key moves and then we'll do two other ones that if you get time to throw in great okay um, and you're looking to do these maybe, I would say, at least twice a week, right? To be fair, no, more, better, great, but obviously you're doing other things too, Correct. right? So, the best way we'll do this is we'll stand facing okay. each other, right? And you're a little bit further back, just so we have that. And you'll notice, maybe you won't see here, his hands, are just outside of his shoulders, right? And I'm gonna ask Casey to have his good posture and his pelvis is gonna be tilted. His priority is keeping his back straight, right? And ears are aligned with his shoulders. You can see that. And you're gonna pull the stick apart gently and your back's gonna activate, right? And now you're gonna push the stick together. Your core is gonna activate. Gotcha. Great. So now we pull the stick apart and all I'm asking you to do is keep going up. You're keeping your arms straight and you're not going into your lumbar spine or bending your elbows or having your head go forward. Gotcha. That's it, right? So here we go, pull it apart gently just so your back's activated. You guys might not be able to see, but like his back is, is, is straight here, right? And he's still going, he's keeping good grip. That is having all of his muscles be engaged. His ears are in line, he's going up. I would even recommend going up a little bit faster, but he's attention to detail. And now, so I think his ears may be going a little bit forward. Exactly, so that's his range. When you go back down, start going back down, and you see the stick, you are wearing a hat, but when you see the stick, push it together, and go keep going down. There you go, and that's your round 
of raising lowers. Okay. Um, it may seem so simple. And one of the things I always say is like, I wish I could, I documented where my shoulders were at. But you could understand how a activated shoulder, keeping that good posture, you're just flossing and mm. over time, you're not fighting, battling for that extra step. So do that two more times, just for the camera here. Good, ears are aligned, he's pulling the stick apart. That's where he gets to, right? Ideally, he's looking in a mirror so he can see. What I see is the stick is fairly parallel, right? Some people may have the stick be a bit bent. And go back down, when you see the stick, push it together. Beautiful, one more time, right away. And bring it back down. Good. And this is where after a week or two, and you can even give it a try now. Remember what we did on the wall with the scapular slides? You have everything against the wall. Your head may be a little bit forward. And you're doing that same pulling it apart, seeing where you go without having your back lift. And this is your test, right? Like, I, I feel it in my thoracic spine. I'm getting there. It's not easy though. Give that a try. And this will be a nice little move to the left just so you have your full body. Le uh, left, 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 yep. And here we go. And his priority is not the stick. It's his keeping his back against the wall. And that's where he's at. And look how beautiful that is to, to at least now I know where his, if he goes above that range in shoulder presses, he's tapping into his lower back and he's getting stronger into that curved back, which he doesn't want. One more time. And down. Awesome. Awesome, raise and lowers, right? Next one, kayak. This is something I would do to warm up, which I really think you could do almost every day. Okay. If, if you, and you have access to a dowel. So we have wide grip, the stick is on our chest, right? And the stick is gonna stay on my chest, and I'm just gonna start to kayak, keeping my arm straight. First the circles are small, and then I'll work my way into making them bigger but I'm not moving with my body, right? Here we go. And good grip, because not, you want good grip, right? So your whole, your whole arms are activated, even if your arms have to be a little bit in, grip is the priority, then arm straight, and that should feel real good on the biceps, on your shoulders, loosen them up. And he starts going wider and wider, bigger and bigger with the circles. And he's keeping that gaze forward, right? And you can even look at the camera, turn around for the camera, right? And now let's go the other direction. So now you're gonna scoop scoop that's going to bring that chest back now am i trying to keep my hands like facing upwards yes okay they're, they're facing hands are facing upwards and arms are straight and you could even look yourself in the mirror which will give you better feedback right so here i see my gaze is forward and then we're gonna hinge forward, and here, your spine's gonna stay in its same pl plane, still, and you're just going side to side with the stick. Here's one of those first times you're really getting into the thoracic spine. And see if you could, and this is great that he's facing you guys. You see how his hips are moving side to side? That means Casey 
is tapping into some of his hips, right, to get the move done. We don't care about the move getting done. We just care about the thoracic spine being uh, stretched. So do not move those hips. There you go, right? That's the difference. But you can see if, if there was like, put a stick right through the top of his head, his spine is staying there, and that should feel real good on the back. And done. So that, that's your kayak, violin, sort of the same move where it just stems from this. So all of a sudden, it, can you be in a lunge and violin up, mm. right? Violin back. You could go explore all over, right? right? We don't need to go into that. That and that. Well, that's a good bicep workout. <laughs> 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 and but you notice the hips yes. right side to side and okay I, what I know what I notice when I'm well when I'm paying attention to it but I'm not paying attention to it I'm, and I'm trying to push myself through that motion I'm not noticing that my hip is dipping but when I do make that like that that um, conscious just like like note to myself don't then yeah then I'm like okay stay stable just rotate and it's a, obviously a lot yeah. A lot harder. Yeah. And this is where you'll be looking in a mirror mm -hmm. to, to see it, right? So next one is the twist, threading through our legs and twisting. So the one that I want to show him is left foot's forward, right foot's back. He's going to thread through the back of his left foot. It's going to hook on his right foot. He's going to grab the stick. My torso is always straight. And then I'm reaching back. And with this reach back, my torso is still straight. I can pull harder on the stick. I can reach closer to the camera. Come on, guys, you asking me to reach closer. I'm reaching closer. That does not mean I'm leaning that way or this way. That's the key. Pulling stronger here and being taller and getting into that. Can I twist further, but still reach, right? Yeah, that's the key here. So one foot forward, one foot back. Stick is gonna go through the back of your left leg here, and it's gonna hook on your right foot. Yep. And now your right hand, thumb facing up, thumb faces up, pulls it, yep, towards you. And now with your left hand, and your left toe is gonna keep you balanced, pull that stick with your right hand and reach back with your left. Good. And I want you reaching right back to the camera, because you guys can see you're in line. Reach here. Can you? Okay. So, so you, that's as big of an angle as you can reach. So that's as big of an angle as Casey can reach. His priority, he listened, spine, great. I think you can pull with that right arm more, right? And now, forget about that direction, just reach this way that you can. Those are the priorities, right? You saw the difference for me. Now, Casey, this is his range. So he's reaching here. Even if he's not moving, he's reaching. And he's feeling that in his spine. Can you have that shoulder come, right? And done. Uh, that was really good that we saw that. Because um, you, you listen and we're so good with detail, you did not go into your spine to turn around and do that you kept the spine and then you did not get to the camera you got there but you kept reaching and you felt it now let's see the other side all right so what is it it's right foot yep and left good good grip left hand pulls towards same there and now that right hand is reaching Further there, while that left arm is being strong. And you're not gonna see this on here, but when you guys try this move, he's using all these muscles. He's using all those muscles, and he feels it back there. And he's reaching with that back. And done. Oof. We'll keep on that, we got one more. And I mean, you could go many directions. We didn't, we didn't even, 
switch grip to go the other way, which is very easy, same thing. Here you'll be facing the camera, it's through your legs. Now you're gonna go over the front, so I'm pulling here and I'm threading over. Just, just to stretch my shoulder again, I would see myself in the mirror, am I a bit leaning towards that way, right? I would fix myself and we're reaching over. We're reaching over, right? You're reaching, but you ha you're engaged. So play around with that. Is this your first time doing the, this, yes. this move, <laughs> yeah. right? So through the back of your left leg, um, the other way, so, so it's gonna be on this, so it's on this side, right? Okay. Like that. So your left hamstring is gonna hold it down and, is, and your right arm holds, right? Yep, and your right foot is like that, Double. stays like that, yep, you got it. And now this is his first time doing the move. Right, I would have it there. And now I'm just gonna ask, go, go play with it. Either you're, so he went underneath the arm. What happens when he has the left arm go over the arm, right? And then you play around. He went over his head and you try to tap into different locations. He's maintaining a good grip there. And even those fingers, I would say, boom. Right? And those are the little things that we sometimes forget is splaying those fingers. Because we're all just one tissue. So. Let's go. Good. Good. Thread and twist, right? You could take that many directions. Um, and then here is spinal twist and th this is a couple of steps where we press forward, right? So I'm in my good posture and first I'm just going to twist without moving my hips, knees or feet so I twi and, or my gaze. So I twist to the left without moving both, without moving anything um, but my torso and the other side and other side. Then I move my gaze, right? So same thing, just my gaze a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper, but my hips are still facing. Then hips, but knees and feet stay still, right? So my knees are still pointed forward, but I'm going here, here. Then your knees can go as well, right? That's how I should demonstrate. And then you can twist, but you're staying up here. Just to get into your psoas. Right? Even, this, even this is hard to get So, into. I wonder, right, do we have to stretch that chest a little? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Right? So. Um, I would almost, no, no, you're good. You, mm -hmm. you, you're good there. Yep. And it's gonna to be tough for him to do because he's not seeing himself in the mirror, but try to just twist a little bit to the left and right without moving your hips. And I'll let you know if you do. Looking good. And now move your hips, but keep those knees forward and feet forward, right? Still not little movement, uh, big movements. But tap it into that spine. Now unleash the hips and knees. And you can also find imbalances with this. And last one, unleash those ankles. Keep going, keep going. There you go. Other side. One more time each way. Last one, yep, put it down. Last one, he's gonna have it at his right feet. He's gonna step back with his right foot, 
and he's gonna go over his left knee just to get into that side. And this is more of a, pa not a passive, but a whole deep stretch here. And then you can even corkscrew it to get a little bit more into that left side. Give that a try. So stick starts by your toes, really close. Yep, in, yep, in line, right foot steps back, hand is high up. Good, and we tilt over that left knee. Good, trust that stick. And you can use your left hand to corkscrew it and get a little bit deeper into those lats. And done. And you can get even deeper by doing more of a curtsy, right? Um, and there's more, right? Yeah. But I think those five are, are, and you can explore the more with those. So I think that's really good keys. And we have ones where you need to be active. The stick's not touching the floor. We have other ones where we are driving the stick into the floor. Um, actually not driving the stick into the floor. It's being supported on the floor. We don't have any with driving the stick into the floor. We have twists. We have, um, yeah, opposing forces. So we're hitting all, the angles with that um any questions no i mean that was even just that small bit it's like i can feel a lot of tension released especially in my right i tend to get a lot of like tension in my lower lower right lat and like like lumbar area but even that twist right there not, that just opens it up and just what you're doing now yeah. you know what i mean like just holding, what I see people in the gym is they're so close, but they don't have good grip, so you're not activating your muscles. So that, that's the whole purpose of this, is you wanna activate your muscles and driving it into the ground and letting your body, using it for leverage, mm -hmm. right? Um, we discovered, I think the chest yes. is, is something that you wanna dig into. Um, yeah, let us know if you guys have any questions. I mean, dude, you've Thank been you putting so in such good work. I appreciate um, that. So we'll, we'll link to Casey's pages and everything. You can follow his journey. Uh, and if there's any way we can help you guys, let us know. Thank you. Thank you. Dude. <laughs> that was